we finally have a day where there is no builders and we can hang together and I am so happy. How are you doing? I feel like it's been a while. It hasn't, it has been a while actually since I fully last vlogged. I've been filming a what I wore in a week, which you guys hopefully will have seen. If you haven't, I get them, I get requested. What am I saying? It is such a requested video and I feel like they don't always get the love even though they're so highly requested. But if you love the what I wore in a week, it's gonna give it a watch. Um, I filmed it slightly differently. So I'm interested to know what you think. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. So I actually haven't vlogged in quite a while now. I'm really excited to hang with you today. It is such a like typical, like I'm such a Brit talking about the weather, but it's such a typical like summer to autumn kind of day today where it's like warm, but it's like a little bit chilly, but it's kind of like spontaneously just rains. But the weather's still like, I still class it as like, it's still good. I still don't have to wear layers or anything like that. Like I'm actually wearing a cardigan right now, uh, but I literally have nothing on the bottom because um, I want to unbox something and try it on today, but I wanted to start this vlog. So I just threw on whatever. And you guys know how much I love this cardigan and I feel like it just goes with this t-shirt and it was like the cozy vibes and yeah. We're now in September. How crazy is that i've got real like end of summer anxiety um but in like a good way it kind of it, it feels i haven't had this feeling in years this feels like a real back to school <laughs> moment for me in my brain i don't really like I, you know new year is like a thing but i don't really class it as like the fresh start that some people do because in my head it's just like we've just come out of christmas and it's all a bit weird and but this is like especially in my line of work this is like you're about to dive in at the deep end september through december is like the my personally not everyone's but my personal busiest time of the year it doesn't help i've got like birthdays and stuff all mixed in with um, like the run up to kind of like Christmas, Black Friday, all of that, like work gets really busy. YouTube is always really busy this time of year. Every, so basically everything ramps up. So I really associate the end of summer with going back to work, if that makes sense. Like I kind of travel a bit more in the summer, things are really quiet and then I really go back to work in September. So it's very similar to like when I was a kid and when I was at school. Feeling that more than ever this year, it feels like a real, fresh start for me so i'm feeling really good i love a fresh start i used to love like august when i was a kid and um, summer holidays i would like take stock step back decide i would actually decide on like who i wanted to be in the next school year like i remember when i was god i was about to turn 13 and i was like i'm gonna stop biting my nails this summer i'm gonna go back to school and i'm gonna be like super cute because i just didn't really like make an effort at school ever and i don't know i just decided that i was gonna like be the girl that wore cute outfits and i was gonna grow my nails long and get into like beauty and makeup and i still like i barely wore makeup i wore mascara and a tiny bit of eyeliner but that was that was enough for me and then i grew my nails really long and i don't know if you can tell i'm a big fan of like switching up the vibe quite often and um, those of you that have been watching for years will be like yeah how we know but yeah i used to love taking stock in august being like okay what is going on what's the vibe and just giving myself a refresh which i don't really feel like i need to do right now um, and i'm also not going back to school but yeah it feels like real fresh start vibes and i'm really excited for this like autumn winter just really looking forward to it it's going to be a bit different um hello Hi, my gorgeous girl. I don't think she's feeling okay today. She didn't eat all of her breakfast and that's really weird for her because you love breakfast. I wish dogs could talk. So yeah, I'm really feeling the fresh start this year. It's gonna be really interesting and a little bit different and I've got some fun things planned. So I'm excited. So yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling at the moment. And I'm also just, I, I feel like I'm kind of coming out of the end of my like slump that i've been in over the last like nine ten months where i've just been feeling a little bit lost and not sure what to do and i uploaded i don't have listened to the podcast uh there will actually be part two of this uh series this little mini uh not series what do you call it like i don't know two-parter uh they're both live now i think as you're watching this so um <coughs> Yeah, you're definitely not feeling all right today, are you? I've been talking about uh, my, I call it my 30 crisis, but just it's just a tidbit of how I've been feeling 
uh, over the last nine, ten months on, God, longer than that, on the podcast, basically since we went into lockdown. As insane as I may sound, maybe making myself sound in this podcast, it was actually, if nothing else, I found it so helpful to kind of like work through all the different layers of how I had been feeling um, and to just get it out and it was really therapeutic. I know that's, everyone should say that's what therapy's for, but like, I don't know, there's something about really working it out in one go and writing it down that was just a little bit different for me and I found that it's really really helped and sometimes it's just good to share things like most people in my life don't really know that that's everything that's been going on in my brain because I'm such an internal processor and I've kind of just been like feeling it but not really processing it if that makes sense so I found that really helped and I feel like I'm kind of coming out of that now and maybe this is the point where I get the I don't give a fuck era that all of you promised me not all of you but a lot of you promised me a like IDGAF era and I had not been feeling those vibes I have to be honest I still don't know if I am but I'm, I'm starting to feel really like a lot better at the moment a lot more calm and that feels really good because I hadn't felt this calm in a really long time. And on top of that, recently, my love of YouTube has just like, someone has lit that fire again. And I think being stuck at home for a really long time probably didn't help, but I am loving it again. Like I wake up and I want to vlog and I'm thinking about vlogging, but not even just in a sense of like, um, like clothing wise, like I really want to like actually vlog and try and share my life a little bit more and I'm really excited about that and that feels weird because I haven't I've really felt like there was, there has been a wall up for a really long time and I don't know if it's the podcast that's helped with this because it's helped me get comfortable with being vulnerable and sharing again because obviously I can't see people I don't get as much feedback as I would in a YouTube video so I don't know if I felt more comfortable because of that and it's kind of just helped me come out of my shell a little bit more but I'm loving uploading to YouTube I'm really excited about it I'm also a little bit scared um, because I I didn't know whether to talk about this but I'm gonna just talk about this a little bit I am going back to editing my own videos uh, my friend Lauren who has been editing she's been working with me for a couple of years she still is part of my team but I am taking back like the video edits and she's like stepping back a little bit and she's gonna like do some traveling just in case you notice that she's not around as much that's why but there's no drama please don't make there be a big drama but um yeah so i'm really excited for her um to do a little bit more traveling and do some other bits but she's also still very much part of the team and you will still see her in the vlogs but i'm going to be editing my own videos again uh and i'm really excited like i don't know if that's what's helped i don't know what it is but i'm really excited to edit my own so weird because that was for a while that was the thing that I was like I don't want to do this anymore I hate looking at myself I hate hearing myself yeah it's weird but I'm excited to do that I'm a little bit scared because obviously I'm doing a lot of things at the moment so YouTube podcast other like brand work kind of things meetings everything I'm doing everything well I don't edit the podcast thank god thank god um but I've been talking for 13 minutes wow Okay, um, but yeah, that's kind of where I am at at the moment. I actually didn't intend on having this chat. Like, I definitely didn't intend on like just going in straight in in this video, but that's that's where we're at. I kind of wanted to share where we're at going into this fresh school year. I am really excited for the next couple of months. We're gonna be doing things a little bit differently to the last couple of years. I'm excited. I hope that I don't have a breakdown. <laughs> but yeah, if, even if I do, I hope you'll be joining me. I'll be here. But yeah, I am actually, I'm getting the scissors because we are going to open some things. Uh, I have some posts and I wanted to open it because one of the things that's in my post is an outfit that I wanted to try on for today. And I have, I have a lot of things to unbox today. One of which you probably will have seen if you have been watching my shorts um because i'm going to i'm actually uploading a lot of my because i know so many, so many of you don't like tiktok um and i saw a couple of my friends doing this and they've been uploading like their tiktoks to shorts as shorts on youtube i really like and i don't know if this is what is also making me like youtube again i really like having all of my videos in one place um so i really like uploading 
uh, shorts to YouTube. I don't know if anyone else likes it, but I personally really love it. And if there are things that you wanted to have seen, like if you wished you could see my TikTok videos, um, cause I don't really post into Instagram. Instagram doesn't like it. It just, it's like shadow bans me and then people don't see my stories. And I really like stories for communicating with you guys. And um, just on like a daily basis, it's a really nice, easy way to chat with you all and share little things that are coming up. So I don't want them to like make me seen less. Um, so it's a really great way of being able to share my stuff with you. Um, and I am going to just start uploading some shorts that aren't TikTok related and vice versa. Sometimes TikTok will get things first, but um, yeah, I am really excited to kind of take advantage of that and do like little makeup y things and stuff like that. Things that don't, if there's anything you ever want to see that isn't a whole video, because sometimes I get some really niche requests just ask and i'll put it into a short but yeah i don't know if that's what's been making me also love youtube but um that yeah there's something i'm really excited to unbox today which i'll show you i mean i don't know at some, at some point you will have seen it in a short um but i'm gonna film that unboxing today but we'll just get through the other little bits i've got some stuff from tatcha which i love their dewy setting spray years and years ago they've actually sent me the dewy skin cream and water cream they look so good. I love, oh wow, that's so cool. Is that a little, oh my God, it's a little spoon, but it's, te oh. That's such a good idea. I freaking hate the little spoons that come with things and then you just end up losing them. That's such a good idea. Oh, Ooh, nice. Okay, okay. So this one is the water cream. And then purple is the dewy skin. I feel like, the purple range is like their dewy range because the mist is purple too. But yeah, so excited to try those. Thank you so much to the Toucher team for sending me those. I'm very excited to try them. And then, very exciting. Uh, I have been gifted my first month of this for free. Uh, which is very lovely of Skin and Me. But yeah, I signed up. I sent photos, three photos, like side, front, other side. I think I spoke about it in my last vlog of my face to them and they like prescribed me stuff this is the daily doser so you do your cleanse uh in the evening and then you twist this until it pumps out all of the stuff that you need like it'll click and then you stop so it gives you the perfect amount that you need and then you apply moisturizer after and that's it and mine is like a mix of oh it says on it great 0.006 percent tretinoin uh which in my head is always tret because that's what caroline hirons calls it uh four percent niacinamide which is an ingredient that i have found to be so beneficial for my skin so i already feel very confident this is going to work out well for me and then four percent azelic acid which i think that's how you say it azalea az azelaic something acid four percent which is really good for helping with pigmentation and so is tretinoin um, so yeah, twist until the click for your daily dose. Oh my god, it has my name on it! Cute! I mean, not the name that you guys know me by, but my full, the full name. <laughs> Which, um, yeah, literally no one calls me except, ooh, no one calls me except Ryan. Um, I'm down as Susanna in his, uh, contacts. He loves it, don't know why. So yeah, you twist it until it clicks and then it gives you the perfect amount that you need. I'm really excited to try it because... I want to tackle my pigmentation, which you can't see right now, but I'll show you at some point. Yeah, it's just any time I get a spot around here, as you can see, I think I have a spot here at the moment, just doesn't, they don't leave. Like they take a good two weeks to go. So when I, I was like at my worst with my skin, sometimes I'd had like five on the go at one point and it was really quite uh, upsetting because it was, it just felt like a never ending cycle. But yeah, I no, mine really, really helped with like that but yeah any that are in this area here leave the worst worst scarring like the further down as well the harder it is to clear them up like the oilier my skin is so like here here i get no scarring even my chin like the scarring goes if it's here it goes really quick but if it's here it like sticks around forever um so yeah i'm really excited to see if this helps because i kind of just did need like someone to like professionally advise me as to what i needed because they're was just so much, so many options that I could go for, but I just didn't know what was gonna be okay together. I, I just didn't really know what I was doing. And I was like, God, I don't wanna keep harassing Caroline. So I'm actually just going to like, 
get someone to help me so that was really nice of them so thank you so much to skin and me for gifting me this but if it works i'm going to be a full paying customer so very excited to try that i'm going to do uh my first application tonight and then i ordered this set from urban outfitters and maybe it was a bad idea in hindsight because i keep forgetting that i'm just like not a tall girl and i keep buying trousers so I'm going to have fun taking these up. Yeah, really questioning why I've done this to myself now because that was not on my list of things that I wanted to do today. But I wanted to wear this today, so silly. I picked up these trousers, like pinstripe trousers, really cool. How about, oh yeah, they're going to need taken up. Oh no. I actually ordered two pairs, but one of them has like a matching, um, what should you call it? Vest. Oh, it's Halter Neck as well, and I love that style. Okay, great. I forgot the. I literally order things and forget the details on them, but yeah, so like a little pinstripey one that matches, but could potentially wear it with this other pair that are also pinstripe if the length is better. Sort of all the length will be better on ones that don't match. Oh no. Oh wow, these are huge. Jesus. I'll try those on. We can see. See how much taking up I have to do today. Anyway, I've already been talking for 24 minutes, so it's gonna be a great one for me to edit. Just enjoy torturing myself, apparently. Okay, these ones are super low-waisted, so like more low-waisted than I thought, but I don't, I don't hate it. I just need to figure out how I would style them, and also I would either need to wear heels or take them up, or just wear a belt with them. Uh, no, I don't know. I think they're just, they are meant to be very, very low wasted yeah i think they're kind of cool but i don't know i'm gonna try them on with the waistcoat even though the waistcoat isn't meant to go with these ones but i'm just gonna see how it looks okay what do we think are they cute or too low waisted let me know i think they might be a bit too low waisted i'm not sure what do we think i really don't know what i prefer you know I kind of like there being a little bit of like separation between the two. I don't know, this one is much more like streamlining. It's just very like businessy, which is cool, but I kind of wanted it to be a bit like more relaxed. Maybe I would just wear trainers, who knows. I have to say though, these trousers on their own, they fit so well, like perfectly. So I do think I will keep this uh set but maybe not always wear them together but like i originally wanted a pair of pinstripe trousers to be honest just to wear um with like a white tee uh like tucked in and kind of like sh slouchy slouchy <laughs> um because i thought that would look really cool and i stand by that and i think this pair of trousers would be so nice for that because they are high-waisted and cinched in at the waist so i could wear a slouchy tee and it would like tuck nicely and give like a good silhouette so yeah i think i'm gonna keep this um, I just don't know whether to keep the low-waisted trousers. So I'm about to film my unboxing. Look at the size of this thing. This isn't even like doing it justice. <laughs> absolutely smashed my to-do list today am i so tired i can barely speak yes but did i get everything done also yes oh, breathe i filmed a good amount of tiktoks i'm really happy with it because whilst the builders are here i just haven't been able to oh it's a bit bright hang on i haven't been able to do anything like it's hard just to speak to you so i've actually taken to working solidly on the weekends like i don't stop i it's actually really i it's not great wouldn't advise it but it means that I can get a lot more done and then I can do like the non-camera bits throughout the week and when the builders are like lunching I obviously blog and do stuff but it's just helped so much and one of the things that has actually changed my life recently I have to say is time blocking I literally hour by hour every single day like my mum looked at it recently she's like no wonder you have anxiety this is horrendous but it's so useful um because some tasks take longer than others some some don't but just putting them in hour by hour slots i am never running over i'm always on time for things now like i'm very rarely late and time blocking hour by hour has really helped with that um and i get more done even though sometimes i feel like 
I don't get to put my whole to-do list in a day. Like I'm, I'm like looking at hour by hour. I'm like, this doesn't all fit, but actually it's helping me manage my workload better because I'm putting a manageable amount of workload in the hour by hour slots. What's going on here? So yeah, it's changed my life. It's probably really obvious, but it's been really helpful to me. So if you have a planner that has hour by hour slots in it, use it, like fully use it. It's so useful to me. Anyway, I need to go and get food. I've got my, I don't know, the tote bag. Um, I need to go and salvage some food because I have nothing as always. Uh, I'm thinking baked beans and sausages for dinner, something really childlike because Ryan is playing a show. So it's just me and the dog at home, isn't it? Yeah. So I will be back with you in a bit. I'm also going to walk, so see you in a bit. <laughs> the weather and I didn't have much going on to be honest so I was like you know what we're just gonna rest and regroup and I'll be back with you on a day when I maybe have something interesting to say yeah what have I been up to what have I been up to um there's been a lot of editing going on I'm not gonna lie I've been glued to my computer screen and um, we did pop out uh and went for some dinner and saw a film um, we saw Nope, which has very, very, very mixed reviews. But yeah, I enjoyed it mainly because I really enjoy a Jordan Peele film and like trying, like the whole trying to guess the meaning of the film, like the whole way through. I like that vibe, but um, yeah, I've heard a lot of people didn't like it. I also watched that Netflix documentary on the McAfee. I always thought it was McAfee, you know, the antivirus software. Um, the guy that created that, there's a documentary on Netflix about him at the moment, it's crazy. So yeah, not really been up to much, basically. Just a lot of, um, a lot of working. Skip has finally gone off my driveway. So happy about that. Just honestly, so happy about that. Um, although they did wake me up very early this morning to take it away. Like 10 minutes before my alarm would normally go off and I would normally actually wake up like naturally, like literally to the minute, like my alarm goes off, I'm already like, I've just woken up and then my alarm will start going off. I'm very like routine like that. I don't know why. It's this weird time of the year, I'm really good with like waking up where it's not like peak summer, like two months either side of the longest, is it two months? A couple of months either side of the longest day of the year. I find waking up so easy. But if you wake me up before my body has woken me up, is bad and this goes for a human or my alarm uh, if you wake me up when my body hasn't already woken up it could be the same time as I would normally get up like this was only 10 minutes earlier than I would normally get up but I get nothing done I got up an hour and a half ago and I have had a coffee and washed my face that's it so I'm very unproductive however yesterday morning woke up naturally like 10 minutes before the alarm. And I've basically done a day's work before nine o'clock. So why is that? Can someone tell me? There's not a ghost, by the way, that's my dog. Hello. People are gonna think there's ghosts. There might actually be a ghost in this house. Sometimes I think there is. No, I shouldn't tell people that. I'll never sell this house. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to get my nails done and I'm very excited about that because I've had one that's looked this level janky for like ages because I if I get anxious I will pick at my nails and these are the nails that accompanied me on the last Ibiza trip and I, of course when we're in the airport and we're delayed I start like just naturally picking at them and shredding them and it's not good so that's not great also whenever I go for a bold color like block colors 
I love them for like a week and then I want to change them again which is why I normally go for neutral because they're the only nails that don't annoy me by the end of my three weeks so yeah I think I'm going to be going for a basic bitch neutral today um my nail tech is going to be so sad about that because she loves doing colorful stuff um she's going to be really sad that we're about to come into autumn and that's when i go very very neutral but there is a really cute little design that i want to try today that has it's like neutral with an edge so we'll see <laughs> Good question. Not my kind of people, quite frankly. Hello. Goodbye, old nails. See you later. Toodaloo. This green's gotta go. the length of time that it would normally take to get my nails done because the girl booked in after me was my cousin so naturally we're having a chat and then it turns out that we're talking about different people and different stuff and you know tangent after tangent because that's a family trait and then it turns out that we are related through marriage to my nail girl who's currently doing our nails like how mad is that so yeah that's my random discovery of the day uh i need to go home now and do some work i have got myself a little iced coffee to get me through but yeah my nails are so cute and like the camera is not doing them justice it's really not doing them justice like no camera is like picking up on how pretty they are i basically have like neutral nails but chrome tips so they're still like from afar they just look like full neutral nails but then up close they're like chrome but yeah camera's not cameraing so sad times for me anyway let's go I've just looked through my archives on WhatsApp and I should really not archive people because now it doesn't notify you if someone's in your archives and it creates some very awkward situations. My ex-boyfriend's just messaged me about the podcast. And now I'm scrolling through my notes because I'm like, what have I said? This is so awkward. What have I said? Why? I thought it was a safe space. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Good morning everybody, I have a meeting this morning so I'm in London, I finally have the little suit on, um, I took the trousers up very late last night but did an okay job, but I'm on my way now to the Ivy in Victoria, so I'm going to eat some food, have a nice catch up, uh, talk some work stuff and I will catch up with you in a little bit. literally risking getting robbed today because I wanted to bring a book. How silly is that? So I just got home from a meeting and I realised I didn't show you my outfit this morning but I am wearing a little two-piece from Urban Outfitters. I uh, took this up very late. <laughs> last night um i was literally in this kitchen like trying to get these trousers to take up even though you're i don't think you went to iron them especially not on the side that i was ironing so rip to my iron and the inside of these trousers but it's fine because you can't see the hem on the inside i'm wearing shoes with them which are old top shop boots i am actually shocked that i did not fall over in these because um london walking in these is absolutely fine However, walking around these in my local area, 
not easy. We don't have like smooth uh, streets in any way. London is all like nice and newly paved. So everything is like seamlessly flat. And my area is not like that. It's not even like trying to be flat. It's really bad, basically. Uh, I'm lucky that I have not broken an ankle, but we made it. We made it. Um, I have my YSL sunnies on just because I feel like they went the best with this outfit. They're kind of like very like modern and not too masculine, not too feminine. They're just like, just right. Balenciaga bag. Love this. I really liked this with the whole look. I think it went well with like the black and white pinstriping and um, added a little bit of an edge and wasn't too like corporate girly. Minimal jewellery. I have silver jewellery on. The rings are from an old collection with my jewellery. So sadly, I don't think you can get them anymore. And then my necklace is from Monica Vinida and my earrings are also Monica Vinida as well. Wow, I need to brush my hair so badly. Okay, my lip combo was, it's pretty non-existent now, but it was uh, Brat from Vive Lip Liner with Mac Honey Love. And I really like that combo. It's like pinky, but warm nude kind of tone. Um, so yeah, that was my little outfit of the day. Got lots of compliments on this jumpsuit. Would highly recommend it. But yeah, I am going to do my skincare now and be makeup free because it was so warm today in London. Like it was raining and it's cloudy, but it's still so warm. So I am going, I just feel like I've, I'm a bit sticky. So I am going to firstly, God, put my hair up because my fringy bits are annoying me today. Take my makeup off and chill, get tonight's video up, finish prep for the podcast episode because I'm due to record it tomorrow and I am not done. So yeah, that's going to be my evening. Oh my God, I need to get this hair up like ASAP. Also guys, we need to talk about this concealer because this concealer, along with one other, is probably one of my like holy grail makeup items right now. To be honest, everything I use on my face is like holy grail, but this is a new uh, item in my makeup bag and I love it. It is such a good everyday concealer. Why is this not focusing? I have been absolutely loving this. It's such a good everyday concealer. Would highly, highly recommend. Uh, I use the shade 4.5. Shade match is really good. It's the lighter of the two concealers I'm using. Um, I would like to get this in like a couple of shades darker for uh, doing around the edge of my face and just the darker areas of skin. But yeah, I'm mostly using this to highlight and then conceal on the lower half of my face at the moment and I am obsessed with it. It's got a really nice buildable coverage. So if you're looking for like a great everyday concealer that gives like a flawless finish but without being heavy, this is it, it's so good. Hello, I have finally washed my face at half past nine. I sat down at my computer and hours went by. Ryan came home, he made me dinner. Honestly, this week has been so busy, but like in a great way, but just so busy. Um, I'm sorry if this vlog is a little bit like all over the place just because I have also been like editing and filming and I'm not sure it's been the most interesting, but it's been a good chance for us to like catch up and I can talk to you guys like about what is going on at the moment and what I'm up to, what I'm doing. Um, but yeah. It's been a lot. You girl is tired, you know? I am just finishing off my skincare routine with like day, god what day are we on? Day five, day four of the Skin and Me treatment. It's going well so far. I have had like no reaction. I don't know why I took my hair down to talk to you when I actually still need to like put product on my face. Um, I've had like no reaction to the ingredients in this, which is fab because I always thought I had quite sensitive skin, but apparently not, which is fabby. But yeah, so far, so good, because I was really expecting to come out all like red and flaky from the citrus known. Um, apparently you can be quite reactive to it, but yeah, all good so far. I'm excited to see what it's like using this long term. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I need to go to bed now because I feel like my eyes are so tired and probably getting a little bit lazy. So I am gonna go to bed now. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys again in my next one. Love you, bye.